What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're really excited to take a look at a brand new all-in-one water cooling kit from Swift Tech. It is their H220 and it has a lot of features that you're actually not gonna find in other all-in-one kits. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the H220 comes in this pretty plain box. I'm not sure if Swift Tech is gonna actually have sort of a retail packaging. This doesn't come out till the end of February, so we've got it early. So I'm, I'm guessing that's why we just have the plain box here. You open it up and get it open here. So you open this up and as you can see here, um, everything inside is nicely protected uh, with this pretty Pretty heavy duty, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, cardboard, whatever you want to call it. And inside here, we have the actual unit, which I should be able to pull out, maybe not. So pull this whole thing out. So everything is right in my hand here. Move our box out of the way. And everything um, that comes in the kit is right here. And let me try to get it out here and kind of show you how everything is together. Let's go over the accessories first which I'm assuming are down in here, if there are any. Yeah, they're down in here. So, as far as accessories, you do have um, Swiftex Timmate um, uh, adhesive here, or not adhesive, uh, CPU compound, I'm sorry. Early morning for me. <laughs> and all of your mounting accessories in this one, and a bunch of more here. So. You do have quite a lot of different mounting accessories in here. And then you also have your fan controller. So everything, I'll show you how this works. Everything that is connected to here, I just dropped a piece of it, or one of the covers here. Actually, that's good because, so all of the fans in your case and part that are part of this cooler actually connect to this little fan hub right here. And all you do is um, connect that into your motherboard for your, you know, your CPU or however you want to do it to power everything. Um, and that, it's really cool. Um, you have, and you can see they're all four pin connectors. So you can install three or four pin. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm guessing that the red one is where you connect the fans for the H220. I'm guessing, like I said, I'm just unboxing this now, so I'm really not that sure, but that is how that works. Looking at the unit here, um, I've got it all in package, which took a little bit of time, but it is it does look like a 240 millimeter radiator, but it is a little bit longer. It's 269 millimeters, so keep that in mind, you know, when you want to get this for your case, make sure it is gonna fit. Now, it is gonna fit most 240 millimeter radiator spots as the fans here, um, you do have two 120 millimeter fans here, so they will uh, mount to that spot. You just wanna make sure you have that extra space um, you know, so this all will fit. You have very large tubing here. Um, some of the more larger tubing that I've seen on all, an all-in-one kit, very, very large. You have your pump, which is directly attached to the CPU block. And one thing that's interesting about this pump is that its power is six watts. Normally, um, with pumps and all-in-one systems, they're, you know, 1.5, 1.6, at most two watts. This is six watts. What that means is that's gonna be pumping a lot of liquid through the cooling system, keeping everything nice and cool. And another thing about that is that this system is one of the only ones that I know of that you can add more things to the loop. So say, you know, you get a new video card and you wanna water cool it, you can do it with the system because that pump can pump all that. You know, the all-in-one systems are just built to either cool your GPU or CPU, that's it. This can do everything. It can um, do dual GPUs, it can do all that kind of stuff. Um, if you check out our CES video of this, you can see all of what this actual one pump can do. Um, take a look at the block here though. Very thick copper, I'll bring it up here so you guys can see. So you have very thick copper right there. And of course you're mounting, and of course this is compatible with everything that's out there. There's not a socket that it doesn't fit that is a new socket. Um, you can see very reflective as well. Um, it does have a cover on it, which I'm not gonna take off um, just yet, but like that, very, very nice. Um, and then as far as the radiator, it is a pretty thick radiator, as you can see right there. Um, again, and then it does have this extra spot. So 
um, where you can actually take out the coolant if you like, um, you know, if you want to clean out the system. This does have a three year warranty. So three years, you don't have to change anything. You don't have to do anything. But after that time, or if you want to change something out yourself or mess around with it, you can take the coolant out yourself. And that's another thing that's really cool about this system is it is an all in one. It is, if you're a beginner, you can just install it and you're good to go. But if you know you become more an advanced user when it comes to water cooling, you can do stuff like change out the coolant. You can add more things to the loop. That's what's really cool about this system. Um, and that's basically it. This is, like I said, I'm really excited to see the performance of this compared to the other systems that are out there. It seems like Swift Tech has done the right thing. A lot of people are going towards the all-in-one and Swift Tech, um, this is their first all-in-one kit really that brings everything together and I really would like to see it perform much, much better than all those all, all the other all-in-ones that are out there. And I really like that you can add more stuff to loop. I think that's the most attractive thing about this. If you're a first time water cooler, you can just go ahead and install it. And as you know, as you learn more about water cooling and things like that, you can buy a water block and you can add stuff to the loop with this um, right there. It's really, really cool. So that's basically it for the Swift Tech H220. Um, check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org for the full written review. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.